What is up YouTube? I hope you guys are doing good this week so far. Um, I'm doing pretty good myself. Last week we had a... Uh, well, not we, but I had an internet problem where I couldn't connect to the Wi-Fi. I currently have AT&T modem right now with me and um, but for some odd reason I, I, I just couldn't connect to the Wi-Fi and there's like a few laptops that's in the house and you know we need internet because we're all in school so I have a, I found a, a solution to the problem you know so uh, let's get to it okay so uh, this is the one that I have um, this is the the modem from AT&T and so on the left or the right side of that modem um, there's gonna be information that is listed on there it should have the uh, device code it should also have the modem configuration web address which is that like there's like numbers it should be like maybe 192.168 I don't, I'm not sure but that's like what you should have so let's go into uh, Google or any of your web browser if you use Internet Explorer or Google Chrome or Firefox you just like click one of them and in, on the on the search bar you would type in that number that 192 number and that should take you to the uh, configuration of that modem where like you can see the settings of that modem you could run test or even reset the, the modem as well okay so since we are having trouble with the Wi-Fi we are going to click on the wireless icon which is going to take you to the wireless interface or the settings and if you look in that picture on the left side that's where all the information that you need um, is going to be there so we're going to head down and we're going to click the uh, Mac filter where you can allow and block block via computers and in order for you to get the MAC address from each computer you would go on the start menu or yeah the start menu and you hit type in CMD and that will lead you to the command prompt on that command prompt you are going to type ipconfig space and then backslash all and when you do that it's going to bring a whole list of uh, information on your laptop or the computer or uh, your desktop and so you're gonna scroll up or scroll down and and it should be under wireless LAN or something and on mine if and on mine on uh, the Mac address is actually under the the physical address so that's what you're gonna look for mine is is a number 40 something 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 so we're gonna take that uh, same number and we're gonna plug it in Mac address field and then you're gonna click add to list however when you do click on the add to list it may ask you to log in into your password your password it should be uh, the uh, device access code which you should be able to find uh, on the side of the modem the label maybe on the left or the right side or behind it should say device access code it should be a 10 digit, a 10 digit number uh, if that doesn't work, try the password admin, uh, and sometimes that works for routers as well. Okay, all right. When you do that, make sure that you enable uh, or uh, click on the enable button right there, so that it can be successfully done. After that, you click on the save button, and it should tell you that you have successfully completed it. So there you have it. That's how you set up uh, your modem or router um, to receive Wi-Fi from every device. Um, so what you got to do now is just go through all of your devices, um, your laptop or your desktop, your iPod, iPad, or try to find the MAC address and then just plug it in right there and you should be good. All right, but thanks for watching though. And um, if you guys have any uh, questions for me, just leave it in the comments I could probably answer your questions uh, right now or I could just make another video response to answer you guys questions and I'll see you later